Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's DLC Far Harbor. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique lever action rifle known as Lucky Eddie. Now acquiring this does involve completing the quest line so if you have no issues with spoiling that then stay tuned. And of course to acquire this weapon you will need the Far Harbor DLC installed. Now in the DLC if you just keep going along with the main quests and helping Far Harbor eventually you will get a quest called The Way Life Should Be. When on this quest and when given the opportunity to give Alan the evidence that I will not so boldly name. Be sure to do so, give Alan the evidence. Then Alan's going to lose his shit, he's going to gather all of Far Harbor, and then you're going to go and take over Arcadia with firepower. The mission here, of course, is to wipe out everyone in Arcadia. So after you've killed everyone, in inverted commas, find Alan and speak to him. He'll be grateful that you helped him take over Arcadia and wipe out this synth scum, and then he rewards you with Lucky Eddie. Now before looking at Lucky Eddie's base stats, as always, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. Now let's modify out, I'm going to be going with the advanced receiver which gives exceptional damage and improved rate of fire. Secondly, I'm going with the long ported barrel which gives superior recoil, range and sighted accuracy, poor hipfire accuracy. Then what else would we slap on other than the marksman's stock? This gives exceptional sighted accuracy, superior recoil and aim with scopes and improved bash damage. Next, I don't think we should go with a scope, eh? I think you'll agree, let's go with the reflex sight and because I'm a rebel, let's go with the circle instead of the dot. This gives better focus and sighted accuracy. And finally, we could suppress it, but hey, I like the sound of this gun. So I'm going to be going with a compensator, which gives improved per shot recoil, improved recoil control, and reduced range. So once Lucky Eddie is modded out this way, it'll have a base ballistic damage of 80. It will use the 45 to 70 rounds. It will have a fire rate of six. Its range will be 194. Its accuracy will be 83. Its weight will be 15.9 pounds, and its value will be 1,124 caps. Up the top there, we can see Lucky Eddie and the effect plus two luck. Very very interesting indeed. So of course, as we know, Lucky Eddie is a unique variant of the lever action rifle. However, unlike any other weapon in the game of Fallout 4, including all DLCs, at least up to this point that have been released, unlike any of those other weapons, this weapon gives a boost to a special attribute stat, in this case luck. The only other items in the game that do this are apparel pieces. So in that sense, Lucky Eddie is quite unique. As per usual, unfortunately, no one went to the effort of making a unique skin for the unique item or giving it any sort of unique stats apart from the luck boost but hey should we expect anything more yes we should anyway it must remain equipped in order to receive the luck bonus in the same way with clothing and armor that increases special stats function so you might be asking what use does 2 plus luck give to my character why would I use this weapon what does it do for me that's an interesting question and to answer that I will have to run through some of what luck does to your character in the game luck determines the recharge rate of the critical hit meter. It can indirectly improve how much caps and ammo one finds through one of two associated luck perks. It can also give the player a chance to not catch a disease from the mole rat bite in Vault 81. So that might sound a bit boring, but where it really comes into play is filling up your critical meter. The higher your character's luck is, the less hits are required to fill your critical meter. For example, if you have a luck of 1, it requires 14 hits to fill your critical meter. If you have a luck of 2, it requires 12. A luck of 3 requires 10, a luck of 4 requires 9, a luck of 5 requires 8 hits, a luck of 6 to 7 requires 7 hits, a luck of 8 to 9 requires 6 hits, a luck of 10 to 12 requires 5 hits, and if you have a luck of 11 and then equipped Lucky Eddie, you'll fall into this category. A luck skill of 13 to 17 only requires 4 hits to fill the critical meter. So if you are playing a luck character, or if you've just maxed out your character completely by playing so much and your luck is at one of these super super high levels, you will fall into the 13 to 17 luck range. Once of course, Lucky Eddie is equipped, and as we just found out, you will now only need to hit a target four times inside of that to fill the critical meter. Now just me personally, I find that to be absolutely insane. Four hits to fill the critical meter, and then if you have a perk such as Critical Banker, you are going to have an absolute field day taking care of all of your enemies with Lucky Eddie. So that's how the plus two 
luck effect can affect your character and the way you play. Now as we learnt earlier, Lucky Eddie has a base damage of 80 when modded out like I did. Now a base ballistic damage of 80, that's pretty damn high to be honest, don't forget it's base damage. Once I got all of the appropriate perks, I was able to get the damage up to about 230. Now 230 damage per shot is excellent. Then if you crouch down and sneak, you're going to be dealing around 500 damage per shot. You get 5 shots in the chamber and you can fire off all 5 bullets in under 5 seconds, dealing huge damage with ease. Now because I didn't put the scope on this item, we can use it for close range with ease while looking down sight. We can use it at moderate range with no problems and if you have a sharp eye, you can use it at long range even without the scope. But again, for me, this mod set without the scope I found to be much more versatile and even though it doesn't have a scope, I found I could still do the things that it could do with the scope. So having a reflex sight instead of a scope is much more versatile and makes Lucky Eddie much more adaptable to different play styles. Now of course if you want to get super tactical, I would suggest that you add the suppressor to your mod set. I personally didn't because I didn't really want to be sneaking around with this and secondly, I like the sound of the gun. But again, the mod set is up to you as always, mod it out however you want. Now unfortunately, Lucky Eddie is a unique variant of the lever action rifle as we know and as you may or may not know, lever action rifles have one fatal flaw. There is a bug that occurs and it doesn't just occur, it's always there. There is a permanent bug across PC, PlayStation and Xbox and that is no matter how many bullets are fired, the gun will always reload as if all five were used. So this does make using any type of lever action rifle in Fallout 4 really, really annoying. If you have five bullets loaded in, you fire off one shot and then reload, it's going to take that whole long time to reload all five bullets back in, even though you only find one. It's really, really, really annoying. I also noticed that it wasn't fixed in Bethesda's last patch. Hmm. Interesting. So all in all, even besides this really annoying reloading glitch, bug, whatever you want to call it, I would still suggest that if you want to help Far Harbor in the main quest line of the Far Harbor DLC, and you're okay with wiping out Arcadia, then I'll definitely suggest you grab Lucky Eddie out of your inventory and give it a crack. It's pretty fun, lever action rifles are damn fun in general. The plus two luck helps you feel your critical meter even faster. It's all around quite versatile and has a pretty damn decent damage. And it's at at this point I realise I've thought of no puns, but as luck would have it, I've just thought of some. My enemies really rolled the die on this one. Well in this video I pulled out Lucky Eddie before any of my enemies could pull out their guns. It was luck of the draw. I must say this weapon's perfect for beginners. Unfortunately I think this gun stock has termites. It's just rotten luck. And if you can't get this weapon because you didn't choose to help Far Harbor and wipe out the sense, well, better luck next time. And here it is, Lucky Eddie in action. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my walkthrough guide for the unique lever action rifle known as Lucky Eddie in Fallout 4's DLC Far Harbor. If it did, I think you'll be very interested to click on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely, or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.